Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 476 as a special dedication to Kimmy, who said that the requirements have changed and she's really having a hard time in just 20 moves collecting 65 waffles. And of course, that looks really complicated. And we've got ticking time bombs set up here. So I think that I want to be careful about the ticking time bombs, but I have to be concentrating on these waffles, and I hope that these just stream out for me. I'm going to make moves in the center and try to bring as many of these waffles down as I can, and of course take out as many as I can, and then also keep an eye on any of the ticking time bombs, which really are not a problem right now. I don't know where they are, but I'm kind of happy. Let's do this. Oh, here we go. Set at 10. We're trying to bring these down the center, so now I'm going to try to stream these things through here. Not getting a whole lot, but at least we're hitting these as we go. That's really crucial here. I've got this ticking time bomb, but I have a way to get rid of it currently. Ooh, I want to stripe right down the center. Let's take this out because I'm getting a bit nervous. And yeah, I'll take a stripe here, but I want to bring things through the center. Ooh, let's slide this over a bit. Yikes. I'm getting a bit nervous about these waffles. So Kimmy, I'm seeing what you're saying, but look at how many just showed up. I've got ticking time bumps that are dangerous. I have to be watchful for those. But I also have to take these guys out. Let's see if I can do both at the same time. Trying to bring this through. Oh, stink. I thought I was going to be able to get a color bomb there. Oh, hold on. I'm going to try to bring the purple together. <gasps> That's just very sad. That did not work out for me. But I think that I... Oh, no, no, no. We still got it. I still have learned so many lessons here, though. These waffles are extremely important, but the ticking time bombs are a danger, too, except no longer are they because this one's set at two and I only have two moves. So really it is the waffles that are the more difficult issue to deal with. Even though I thought I did fairly well, I still had 15 waffles left over. What that tells me is I have to make a more concerted effort to bring them down the center. Even though that was my goal, I'm going to pay attention to each and every move and really make the best choice possible. I do have to pay attention to these ticking time bombs, but I can't sacrifice the waffle production in order to do that. And I get a few turns before those show up. So what I'm going to do is pause the recording, meet you back here with a new board, see if I can put all of that information together and get a win. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make this wrapped candy here because once I start getting things going, I'm going to need to make some explosions and really open a few things up. Ooh, and I think I can collect the green here together. I think I need to make amazing cascades and combos to get this done. Well, look at that. That's kind of a beautiful thing right there. Although I don't think I'm going to be able to use it the way I want, which is with, which is with this orange. But I'm not giving up yet. I might be able to kind of shift things downward. The problem is, will I sacrifice too many turns in order to try to get that done? Because that's what I'm doing right now is focusing on that opportunity. And it didn't work out anyway. So now I've learned sometimes it's hard to set up those special opportunities. Maybe I just want to go with, ooh, the gimmies on the board. Now at this point in time, it's not a bad time to take this because I have uh, the ticking time bomb issue under control. They can't hurt me now. However, I don't have a lot of orange on the board and I don't have a lot of waffles on the board. I'm risking this. I'm going to make other things happen and try to bring more things down here. Uh, before I set this off. I need maximum waffle coverage over here before I do this. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers on the board. That's not bad. I know that every move that I take that I don't use this, I run the risk of losing it. And I think now I'm going to take it. And this will not only 
open these up, but hopefully bring more waffles down onto the board to help me out here. There we go, and of course color bombs, but get color bombs and other specials. That's always fun and exciting. Let's do one of these. Let's, we've only got four that we need to get now. So, uh, let's consider this. I think if I take out all orange from the board, that's going to get it for me. Barely, but I got it. So, Kimmy, I hope that this was helpful for you. You are going to need some luck, but when you have a lucky board, that's when you particularly need to focus because you need to capitalize on that luck since we know it doesn't come around all the time. Really focus on bringing those waffles down the center and try to make as many cast combos as you can. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you folks consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.